This is The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to The Daily Show. I'm Trevor Noah. Let's jump straight into today's headlines. We kick things off with a story out of Great Britain, the country where Yes Queen originated. When the COVID pandemic first swept the world in 2020, the UK was one of the countries that were hardest hit, and it responded with a national lockdown. All non-essential stores were closed, uh, public and private gatherings were banned, and Meghan and Harry were forced to socially distance 7,000 miles away. But now, we're learning that some of the people who imposed the lockdown weren't obeying it themselves. Boris Johnson is facing fierce criticism this morning. A leaked video shows senior Downing Street staff joking about a Christmas party thrown by the British Prime Minister during last year's Tier 3 COVID lockdown. This video shows aides rehearsing for a briefing four days after the alleged party. I've just seen reports on Twitter that there was a Downing Street Christmas party on Friday night. Do you recognize those reports? <laughs> I went home. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um, uh, uh, what's the answer? I don't know. I didn't want the party. It was cheese and wine. Clear, it's not <laughs> Is cheese and wine all right? No. It was a business no. meeting. <laughs> I'm joking. It's just recorded. This fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> and it was not socially distanced. <laughs> the insensitive remarks were recorded just days after an alleged Christmas celebration at 10 Downing Street a year ago, a time when COVID restrictions in the country banned such gatherings, and while Britain was battling with overflowing hospitals and rising COVID deaths. In Parliament, the Prime Minister addressed the scandal. I was also furious to see that clip. I have been repeatedly assured since these allegations emerged, that there was no party and that, and that no COVID rules were broken. And that is what I have been repeatedly assured. We saw them practicing the lie, and now you're going to tell us that we must believe the lie? There was no party. You guys have to believe the thing that we saw is a thing, it is not a thing. It is a thing. Everybody must believe me. You know, Boris, Boris would be a lot more believable if it didn't look like someone just pulled him out of a mosh pit. And guys, it's not, it's not just Boris, by the way. It feels like every month we catch another politician breaking their own COVID rules. Gavin Newsom went to that fancy restaurant. The mayor of Austin flew to Cabo. Andrew Cuomo kissed that bat. At the same time, I get why they broke COVID rules to have that party. I mean, people look forward all year long to the office Christmas party. It's the only chance you have to hook up with a coworker, have everyone in the office see it, and then pretend like it never happened. It's like a whole pass from HR. But the worst part is how they're on video joking about it. I mean, it's one thing to break your own rules. It's another thing to laugh about it. It's yet another thing to videotape it. It's like they're trying to win the dumbass triathlon. If they manage a scandal that badly, how did they handle the pandemic? What? Even worse? Total disaster. Oh, that makes sense. Huh. I do feel bad for them, you know, that this whole thing came out a year later. You know, because this scandal is happening now, but the video is from a year ago. Because I'm sure after the first six or eight months, they probably thought it, would, it was over. You know, they probably thought they'd gotten away with it. It's almost like, imagine if you were at work and then your eighth grade teacher walked in like, we finally tracked down whose gum that was under the desk, mister. You're getting two weeks detention. What? I'm 37. Do you want it to be three? 